Hey everybody, this is Steve Holmstock here on my show. I'm the president of Awaken Alaska. We're a television show here in Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, we've recently started uh, uh, broadcasting in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, it's pretty exciting. You know, we went from a one hour show once a week here in Anchorage uh, for three years. I was doing it all by myself. And now we have a nonprofit, and we have it's corp incorporated, and we have some people that are helping us. It's you know, and it's slow, and we've decided that uh, this show doesn't own us, and that if it's alive, if it's living, and is if it's breathing, if it has the hand uh, the hand of God on it, then it's just going to grow, and it's going to thrive, and it's going to be uh, exciting. So. Uh, here we are, we're in Anchorage. We just came back from Washington, D.C., and uh, we have a whole lot of stories to tell. Uh, it was truly a blessing to be able to have the funds to go and participate in, uh, our, in our nation's capital uh, in the inauguration of uh, President Donald Trump. And for those of you who don't know, President Trump... <laughs> Is a Christian, uh, Paula White and James Robinson led him to the Lord. And James Robinson, and I know this, uh, I have this by uh, word of mouth uh, from Marion Bush, who is a pastor in, in Indiana who knows James Robinson, was 12 feet away from him, listening to James talk about, uh, Pastor Robinson, talk about Donald Trump. And he uh, made it really clear that Donald Trump is one of the hungriest Christians he has ever had the pleasure to speak into. So I love that uh, Donald Trump has made the choice for Christ because it means so many things for our nation. Because when you study out the found founders of our nation, you know that they were not Christian. George Washington was not a Christian. He was a Freemason deist. In other words, as a Mason, uh, they believe that there are many paths to the Father. Uh, George Washington was a 33rd degree Mason, which is pretty much as high as you can go, except for the honors that come afterwards. And he uh, was sworn to Luciferianism, which is uh, what the uh, higher order of Freemasonry uh, looks to and aspires to be. So when I was in Washington, D.C., I did a little bit of exploring, and I went and looked at uh, the foundations of our nation, and it truly is uh, founded more in Freemasonry than it is in Christianity. But because of those who are the remnant for Christ in our nation, because there was more of them, literally, than there were more of those who uh, wrote our founding documents, our nation has turned towards and has remained a Christian nation because uh, ultimately the prophetic word of our nation is that we are one in Christ Jesus. We are the United States of America and we are under God, individual with liberties and justice for all through Christ Jesus because there can only be one God. There can only be one Lord. There can only be one spirit. There can only be one baptism. So, there we go. Every time I say baptism, this thought pops into my head. John baptized with water, but John pointed away from himself to the one who was coming. His name was Jesus Christ. And he said, he will baptize you with the Spirit of God and with fire. So, there's the water baptism, which is... Uh, basically a declaration of your allegiance to Christ of your and declaring your destiny to be crucified with Christ and to enter into his death burial and resurrection you're saying I agree with that I believe in that and this is who I am and I share in that with Christ Jesus that's all it is the water does nothing for you it's just symbolic it's a shadow it's a type and shadow but Christ, when he was crucified, he ascended into heaven and sat at the right hand of the Father. And he released the gift of the Holy Spirit onto us all who would receive him. So as many as received the Holy Spirit, they have been given the right to be called 
the sons of God. Because those who are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. He said, I will give you my Spirit. I will send you my Counselor. And He will lead you into all truth. And His truth, this truth, will set you free. To do what? To walk in the power of God in your life. To reveal the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? So, pray. All of you believers out there, all of those who call on the name of the Lord Jesus, pray for Donald Trump to be filled continually to overflowing and baptized and immersed in the Holy Spirit and with fire. Look at Donald Trump when he's sitting on the edge of his seat in an interview. He's not sitting on his seat. He's sitting on the edge of it. He's never seated on the chair completely. He's always leaning forward, and he's sitting on the edge of his seat. And I want you to get that way for the Lord Jesus Christ, in the things of God, in the promises of God. Grab a hold of the promises of God, and trust in the Lord today. And don't lean on your own understanding. Call on the name of the Lord for every area of your life. There's a promise for every one of them to call on him for today acknowledge Christ and stop fearing for for Donald Trump yeah there's a lot of opposition of course the enemy has been opposing you since the very minute that you confessed Jesus Christ he was opposing you before as you were on your journey to that day when you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and he's been at you and he's been assaulting you and he's been waylaying you at every corner to keep you from your appointed destiny to be the manifestation of the Son of God so don't think it's strange when it happens to you trials and tribulations and all kinds and when people revile you and curse you listen look at trump trump is a believer and the enemy hates him and he's throwing whatever he can at him just like he does at you and me so pray for donald trump and pray that through this fire that he is refined into this a son of god and father god will bless him and will strengthen him and will keep him whose heart is stayed on him. Pray Donald Trump and his family look to the hill where their help comes from, to the mountain of God, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that Donald Trump is filled with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the revelations of the height, the width, the depth, and the length of the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for people like Chris Cox who lead uh, the, the rogues of Trump, the bikers for Trump. Pray for them. Pray for people like Kenny Lee who write songs and are troubadours for this nation to, uh, to, to turn the hearts of the people towards what true independence is. Do you know that where the Spirit of the Lord is, that's where independence is. That's where freedom is. Not that we would be independent from God, but that we would be free within Him, dependent on His freedom through Christ Jesus. See, it's all about bringing the nation into alignment, into the, and turning the hearts of the people towards the love of the Father. It's all about salvation and it's all about the kingdom of god in the kingdom of god's not a matter of talk listen if you truly believe in the power of god in his promises in his word that's faithful and true and if you truly believe god's not a liar then stop walking in doubt and unbelief and start believing believe that what god has said for you as a believer is true and hold on to it. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Through God you shall do valiantly and you shall tread down the enemy. Christ has disarmed the powers of this world. And he has openly mocked them. You can declare a thing over those who are not innocent. It will be done for you because of the purity of your hands. You are a king and a priest. You are a son of God. And he's not withholding any good thing from you. Because you walk uprightly. He has given you his spirit. 
So I just want to bless you. Just want to bless you. I just want to uh, thank you for watching today. I just want you to be people of faith. Trust in the Lord and believe on him. Believe his word and trust him. God has got this. Don't listen to the voices that you hear on TV. If the TV is your prophet, you need to shut that prophet off. He's a false prophet and he's a liar. The enemy, there is no truth in him. You see there's a dividing line right now. There's a plumb line. Just what a surveyor has. And, it, and, and it's making a division between those who are for the truth and those who are for the lie. See, the word says, even though they knew the truth, they exchanged the truth for a lie. That's what you're seeing right now. Put your faith in God, in, in truth, and know that God blesses America and he has shed his grace on us. And we declare that word. Let's believe in it. God bless you today. Watch what the Lord is doing in this nation. Believe God for everyone in your family. Trust in all of his promises. Listen, if you're struggling with your family right now and you're having a hard time believing it, well then get this word in you deeply and I'm going to let you go with this. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly uh, more, far more than you could have ever hoped for or asked. God's arm is not so short that he cannot save any one of your family. He said all of your household will be saved. Put your faith in that.